Hey, hey friends, if you have been here before, welcome back and thanks for stopping by. And if you are new, welcome and thanks for joining me. I wanted to do a short video on my Sarah wallet that I got a few months back. Um, I absolutely love this wallet. I've loved it from afar for a while and just never got it. I think because initially I chose to get the Clemens as my first large wallet many years ago. And then I traded that in for the Zippy, and I guess I couldn't really justify getting the Sarah, but I bit the bullet a few months back, went ahead and got it, and just wanted to do a quick video on what she looks like. And you'll have to forgive my hands, they're going through something this winter, so um, they don't look the best, but yeah, we'll just ignore that. So obviously it is monogram, it's an envelope style wallet, and it is kind of fat, which I like. I like how it fits in my hand. Um, there's something about how a wallet feels or how things feel. I guess I'm very tactile. So I like how this kind of feels substantial in my hand. Um, it does have a back pocket, which I have my textile cards in there. And as you can see, it has a very fun pop of color, which I believe is poppy. And they have the one that is the brown interior. But for this, I really, when it comes to SLGs, I don't mind um, color in, in my SLGs. Sometimes I gravitate away towards color in bags because over time I just don't want to fall, in, fall out of love with that bag or with that piece. And I feel like a color might help me fall out of love. And if it's like just a tan or a neutral color, I feel like it has a better chance of lasting longer in my heart. But for this SLG, I knew I would be okay with the color over time. Actually, it just kind of boosts my mood, you know, just to open something, open something that's maybe a little more brown or tan or neutral, and then use one of the items in it and find that it has that nice pop of color. I like that. That's just kind of my vibe. Typically, I stay away from um, uh, putting my initials on things, but you know what? I threw caution to the wind with this and went ahead and did it. So uh, it's a risk I was willing to take on this small SLG, especially since I knew I had liked this wallet for a while before purchasing it. So I feel pretty strongly that I won't regret it later and won't want to sell it later. But as you can see, it has that snap closure. It's got these little um, slip pockets in the front. There are four of them and then it opens to what you would expect to find in a wallet. Some larger compartments oh, sorry. here and here, and then this slip pocket back here. And then of course you've got plenty of spaces for your cards. It looks like there's um, six back here. Yeah, and then six up front. And then you've got the coin compartment or the zip compartment. I guess it doesn't have to be for coins. Um, for things that you need to be more secure. Here is an up-close shot of the hardware. If you're familiar with LV, that is typically what their hardware looks like. And the bottom, I mean, there's just not a lot to show you. Um, it's got the accordion style on the side for, you know, space. You can open this up pretty largely. And I love it. I think what I love most about it is it combines monogram with this beautiful poppy color on the inside, which is basically just a red. And here, let's get a close-up of that. Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. And then my initials. So I am really glad I got her. I don't use larger wallets on an everyday basis, but I do use them when I travel or when I'm using a bigger bag, like to go to work things of that nature. And let me see if I can get a close-up of the hardware on the front. Yep, it says Louis Vuitton. And here is what it looks like compared to the Zippy as far as size. You know, they're really comparable. Um, I feel like the logo on the, um, on the Sarah looks a little different in color than the Zippy, and I did buy them from the same boutique, but I'm sure as time passes, they have different um, canvases they use and different dyes and different whatever in different locations. So who knows, this one may, was made in France, who knows where this one was made. So I don't know, but that's neither here nor there. They're about the same size. It does look like the Zippy is just a tad taller. Let's see here hard to get a good gauge there. It is, but of course the Sarah is a tad fatter. 
Um, but yeah, you know, it just depends on what you like and what you want. I like both for different reasons and I like the interior color of this one as well. That's always nice in your SLGs for me anyway. So yeah, don't know if that helps you. Um, hardware on the zippy is a little different as you can see, but yeah, both really nice large wallets if you're into that kind of thing and yeah that is what my sarah looks like so hope you have enjoyed this and will come back and see me all right stay safe guys bye